engineers at Washington University have created bacteria that produce biosynthetic silk that is as strong as the real thing. Spider silk is among the strongest and toughest materials in the natural world, as strong as some steel alloys with a toughness even greater than bulletproof Kevlar. Spider silk's unmatched combination of strength and toughness have made this protein-based material desirable for many applications, ranging from super thin surgical sutures to projectile resistant clothing. Unfortunately, due to spiders' uh, territorial and uh, cannibalistic nature, their silk has been impossible to mass produce, so practical applications have yet to materialize. Scientists have been able to create some forms of synthetic spider silk, but have been unable to engineer a material that included most, if not all, of the natural silk traits until now. Researchers in the School of Engineering and Applied Science at Washington University in St. Louis have engineered bacteria that produce a biosynthetic spider silk with performance on par with its natural counterparts in all of the important measures. And they have discovered something exciting about the possibilities ahead. The new research reveals that the tensile strength and toughness of spider silk remains positively correlated with its molecular weight. The bigger the molecule, the stronger the silk. Even in synthetic silk with a weight nearly twice that of the previous record holder. People already knew about this correlation, but only with smaller sized proteins. The researchers found that even at this large size, there is still a very good correlation. One of the biggest historical challenge creating a biosynthetic spider silk has been creating a large enough protein. The challenge was so big, in fact, it required a whole new approach. The researchers started with what others had done, making a genetically repeated sequence. The DNA sequence was modeled after the sequence in spiders that is responsible for creating the silk protein. In theory, the more repetitions of the sequence, the bigger the resulting protein. After the DNA sequence reaches a certain size, however, the bacteria can't handle it. They chop the sequence into smaller pieces. It is a problem that has been encountered many times in previous efforts. To get around this long-standing obstacle, the researchers added a short genetic sequence to the silk DNA that promotes a chemical reaction between the resulting proteins, fusing them together to form an even bigger protein, bigger than has ever been produced and purified before. This biosynthetic silk is the first to replicate natural spider silk in terms of tensile strength, that is the maximum stress needed to break the fiber, toughness, that is the total energy absorbed by the fiber before breaking, as well as other mechanical parameters such as elastic modulus and extensibility.